So welcome back to uh, AU. Thank you. How long has it been since you've been back on campus? Ooh, uh, man, I can't remember the last time I was here. At least a couple of years, at least. So how do you think of oh, how everything coming back for the homecoming? It's uh, oh, it's different. Um, the Mary Graydon Center, the tavern, was actually a bar right. when I was going to school here. Uh, the SIS building that didn't exist. Uh, and so it, a lot is different, but Let's Hall looks the same. Right. So, you know, so from that perspective, that seems familiar to me. Right. So obviously Not that I went in it. <laughs> let's let's right. get that clear. I actually didn't go inside. It looked from the quad. It looked the same to me. Yes. But, uh, so obviously a busy week, especially in Bristol, the Super Bowl and everything. Yeah. How is Super Bowl week going on? Super Bowl week is interesting because we're constantly hoping that there's some form of news, not bad news, just something because <laughs> right. the, the lead at two weeks is too long between football games so the lead up you know how much do you have to, how much can you take talking about rob gronkowski's <laughs> ankle you know there, there's a limit so um you know so it's it's a week where we're trying to create news so you know, your thoughts on that though do you think he'll be 100 percent? no not 100 <laughs> percent. i think he'll play i think he'll play do you think that'll make any one of effect to the patriots offense if he's not effective yeah like a huge effect on their offense, but I'm I'm going to assume he's going to gut it out and be right. good enough. You know, maybe he's not as fast, but you know, it's really his size that's the problem with him. So I I really actually don't think it's a, an enormous deal. I th I think he'll be okay, but he 100 percent no way. He, he, th that injury you're not 100 percent for six weeks, so he right. won't be. And so looking at that though, Patriots either the Patriots offense or the Giants defense. What would you favor? In a game like this, um, you know, I'm not in the business of betting against Tom Brady, so I like him against anybody. But what's been proven, and they proved it a few years ago in the Super Bowl, and the Ravens started to kind of prove it a couple weeks ago. If you can get pressure on him, he's not mobile, so and he will make mistakes when on the move. And the Giants' biggest strength on their defense is their line. I mean, they've got very good, proficient, fast, big pass rushers. So if the Patriots can actually form a pocket for Tom Brady, Tom Brady will win. And if they can flush him out, just get him moving. I mean, let alone hit him and you know sack him. But if they can just get him moving, I like the Giants. Right. So I, you know, I think the line of scrimmage on that in that regard is the game to me. If Brady's sitting back there untouched, nobody beats him. Nobody. I mean, he hasn't lost to the <laughs> lost to the Giants. Nobody beats him. So they got to make him move. And so looking at. If whoever a quarterback whoever wins in your mind, what is more impressive, being Tom Brady four and one in the Super Bowl, or Eli Manning two and zero beating Tom Brady? Uh, you know, I was having this discussion with someone the other day. I, I was ridiculed for it too, <laughs> and I said, uh, in the end, Eli Manning's career is going to be better than his brother's. That the numbers will suggest it, even though they don't now, because if he wins, he'll have more Super Bowl wins than his brother. He'll have an over 500 record, an incredible road playoff record. And I would argue that it is much harder for him playing for the Giants than it is for Peyton playing for the Colts to get to this place based on the division he plays in, based on the media market he plays in, and based on the weapons that he's had throughout his career around him. So if Eli wins again, I think we need to cut out this. Not only is he his little brother, but I think we start putting him in the class of this is among the best quarterbacks in the league right now. And stop with this, oh, it's Breeze, Rodgers, Brady, Peyton went healthy, right. and then he's in that second tier. He's not in that second tier anymore if he wins again. I'm not even sure he is anymore after this season, and he got there again. Brady wins. Well, now he's tied with for the most Super Bowl wins by any quarterback ever. And I think it starts to solidify his place where you start wondering, is he the best quarterback that's ever played? You know, I don't think we're saying that about Eli yet. I think we're way away from right, that. But yeah. for Brady, you know, you, you look around at the players on his team. Wes Welker, okay, he's a great receiver. For them, you know, like, who's the other receiver that's good on that team? Who? I can't even name one. <laughs> I, Danny Woodhead runs the ball. Ben Jarvis Green Elvis averages 41 yards a game. I mean, what are we talking about here? You know, he's not playing with these Hall of Fame players are. Maybe Gronkowski turns into that and he had a great year. Maybe Hernandez turns into that and he had a great year. But don't kid yourself. You know, like, this guy is the reason why they're good. Without him, 
you know, come on, you know, they're not doing the things that they've done. So I, for both of them, I think it's, you know, enormously important for their for their legacies. So. I and mean, we talk about the best. Do you think the Belichick Brady tandem is one of the best? Uh, by far. I mean, especially in this era. I mean, it's very, very, very hard with a salary cap and parity to be in the playoffs every year. It's just hard to do it. Um, you can't keep your players. You got to change things around. So yes, I mean, I, I they're among the top tandems of all time. And so who do you? I mean, that's a call you on it. Who are you picking for the Super Bowl? You know, I've had a hard time with that because <laughs> I I think it's just going to be a close game. And um, it's not that I'm like trying to hedge. I just I don't know. And I think right now the Giants are a little better, but the Patriots. I'm just there's something about them losing to them four years ago that I think is going to manifest itself. And um, they've been loose this week, so I'm going to take the Patriots just on the fa on the fact that normally they're really tough to deal with, and this week they seemed really loose. So I think they know something we don't know. So I'm, I'm going to go with them. Do you feel like it'll be just a, almost like an identical game to what happened a few years ago? No, I think it's going to be more points this time. I don't think I think the Patriots learned from their mistake in the last Super Bowl. They did not change what they did throughout that year, and they tried to be almost uh, just a Pass first, pass only team, and that was a mistake. I think they're going to run the ball uh, a little bit more. They're going to try to get those linemen to back off just a little bit, just to give Brady that extra second that he needs to get the ball out. I think offensively they're going to be a little different than they were that last time, and uh, I think it's going to be a great close game. All right, Brian Weinstein, ESPN News, former AU grad. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks.